Lewis, you got the other mic? Okay, let's go. Mike Prince. I got to get out here. Hello, testing. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased and honored to present Lewis Ramos. Yeah! He's going to serenade you. Kick it, Lewis. Give yourself an introduction. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for inviting me all here. This is a beautiful opportunity to um, play my drum. Hey, how you doing, all right? If anybody wants to volunteer to dance later, I need some volunteers. Don't be afraid. Um, I think it is, right? Yeah, no. Okay, cool. In a, yep. We got some volunteers? Oh, wait a minute, we got the ducks. <laughs> You gotta, oh, here they come, they're happy. <laughs> I gotta think of what. You see, at this point, there's some uh, dancers coming in for uh, Lewis. Uh, they look like they're really waiting to do this. Oh my God, they're going around a circle. Come on, guys, where are you going? <laughs> the ducks left. Well, they did their thing. <laughs> well, once again, thank you all for inviting me here. Proud, proud to be with all of you. And my first song I want to play, I actually need four volunteers to get this song rolling. And I'm, I'm from the Taino people from all the way down in Borinquen, Puerto Rico. And this dance... It's a special dance, especially when it's cloudy, because it's called a Gwe dance. And Gwe in Taino means the sun, a sun family dance. We need four carry. dancers. Please report to the circle. Lewis needs you to complete his gig here. Yes, four. I just need four and we need maybe. four dancers. Four dancers. Are you going to be one of them? Yep. Hey, Vicky, come on out. You're the first dancer. If we're lucky, the sun will come out. Yeah, there you go, once you start singing. Can I get three more dancers? We need three more dancers. Deborah. We need two more dancers, Deborah. Grab somebody, grab them, grab them. Come on, who wants the sun to come out? Come on, let's go. Come on, who wants the sun to come out? You gotta come and kick it high, kick it high. All right, it's everybody. This is now the last time we I performed this dance, it was in the Bronx, and there will not be. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Who is it there in the Bronx? Uh, Puerto Rican Parade. Anyone here from the Lapi Nation right here? No one? Well, I'm from the Lapi Nation, but no, I wasn't there. It was some Ramapos that were there, and then the was that right? So you can ask them if this story is true. I did the dance, right, because it was raining like crazy. And then so um, there was some Ramapo, they helped with the whatever. dance, and guess what? The sun came out. As soon as the sun came out, we got thrown out. And I say, hey, what, the song isn't finished yet. No, the sun is up. And he threw us out, and guess what? A storm came. <laughs> there you go. That's story number one. <laughs> now, hey, I would like to invite, I would like to invite some of the spectators here. I need two spectators to help him dance this out. The young lady, hey, the young lady who's running away. Come on, you, come on in here. No, no, come on in here. We have, we need one more dancer. One more dancer for Lewis. Come on. Okay, here we go. All right, I'll hold your phone. I'm going to call Venezuela. I don't know anybody there, but I'll just dial a number. All right, Bear's your fourth dancer. There you got your fourth dancer. Actually, we need one more, one more. Sorry about that. One more. That's five. One more. You don't want to go in, right? Here we go. We got one more dancer here. Bear, you got your five dancers now, so quit complaining and get going here. Hey, look, we got another dancer. You're just calling dancers from all over. My goodness. Any of you spectators over there want to learn how to do a native dance, come on in. 
Come on, don't stand there with your hands under your hip like you're all that. You come on in here. Come on, I see you there. No, no, don't start now. Want to hug mom, Bubba, uh, Bubba, and uh, no, no, get in here. In fact, bring him in here to dance too. He can dance too. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got two more. They're coming in right now. Let's go. Here we go, man. And and this young lady's got the uh, hands on her hip down good. I mean, so she's got half the dance already in her pocket. <laughs> I like this guy. He's got heart. He looked at me and smiled, saying, Oh, this is what you got me into. You got no idea. Oh, we have some more coming in. Come on, don't. Come on. Don't. No, 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 no. Get in here. Get in here. Let's go. You're in, you're in the dance entrance. You got to be part of this. Now, when you guys finish dancing and you come to depart the circle, we're going to smudge you just to purify and to bring you into our pocket here and to bring you as, as part of our people. So, dance and we'll do a smudge. We haven't do the, done a grand entry, so technically the powwow is not open until we do this, but we want to do some type of uh, activity to get everybody involved. So, we're doing powwow in a different way. All right, so we want you to enjoy, listen to what Lewis has to say, and we have some more dancers right here. You're at the dance entry, please come in. Okay. Come on in, come on in, you're in the dance <laughs> Oh, we got two more, look at them. Hey, Whoa, they're just piling in, come on, come on. Okay, so Lewis uh, will tell you what to do. The children can go in the middle, and we can, we can lead them, okay? All right, listen to Lewis. And then the adults. Okay, uh, actually, actually, everyone go to the middle. All you guys, the family. And you can lead them, right? And nice and slow. You stand behind her. Make a little circle inside. I love to see children involved. There we go. Because many people don't realize when you have children and you come and get them involved in the Native American dance, it's a moment that they will remember the rest of their lives. And it's something that's a bonding experience between you and your children. Because you're leading them into new experiences. And this is what we want to do. We want to expand their horizons and get them involved in the Native American heritage. So please come on in. Are there any more dancers to come in? We're going to have them come in with Lewis. Um, they're taking care of the tree planting over there. So let them do that. So we can get all of this done before the powwow ends. We got another dancer coming in. All right. And remember, when you leave, we're going to smudge each and every single one of you. So you're going to have to stand in line and wait your turn. There's another. There's a couple more dancers. Bring those kids in here. Those kids make make us make the powwow. We can't have a powwow without children. And this is a bonding experience between you and your children. They will remember this the rest of their lives. Okay. So basically the sun went to sleep because the clouds showed up. But that's all right. So we're going to wake up the sun, okay? And we're going to tell the clouds, bye-bye. We'll see you later. Thank you for all the rain today. So now it's time for the sun to come out. Wait, so I want to play this conch shell. When you hear the conch, that means I'm waking up the sun. Wake up, we need you. So once I start playing the music, the dancers will start to dance nice and slow. One, two, three, four, the parallel. Hello, is this Argentina? Hi, my name is George Stonefish. I don't know you, but I'm glad to speak to you in Argentina. Somebody gave me a phone and I just couldn't resist calling you in Argentina. <laughs> Bring well, the we're out. at a powwow. I'm going to let you listen to the powwow now. 
Ok. Proud if you have a gay son. <laughs> In our culture, they're not called gay. He's too spirited. So he's got a duality around him. Dance around the drum. Dance around the drum. Make the circle around the drum. Come on, you guys are dancing really well, so continue to dance. And don't burn yourselves on the fire.
even in the middle, we're going to cook them. Okay, I remember many moons ago, I, uh, I witnessed a sun dance back in Montana, Crow Nation, and I remember how the sun was so hot. And then when the drummers, I mean, when the, uh, there was a little break, some clouds showed up. So then I realized, hey, I think the drum has a connection with the sun. And, and for many years, I was um, contemplating that with, the, with this Maya Wakan, which is a Taino drum. It's a log drum and it was burned right here, the power of the sun. So um, the first time I actually played this song was at the Puerto Rican Parade in the Bronx, and the sun did come out that day. And, and, the, and the rally poles were there, you guys were witnesses, man. So all the energies. So, so I believe with, this, with the song and the drum, we have a connection with that sun at all times, you know. You got a little brighter, right? There you go. All right, guys, thank you. It's not raining, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More songs to play? More songs. Because we got to go to another one. Yeah. I just want to honor my old brother who taught me how to drum many moons ago. His name was Edward Sedano. He was a Taino drummer. And he taught me these two songs. One is a medicine song. And it's in a Taino language, and the other one is an Earth Mother song. So we mentioned the, the sun. Now we're going to mention the Earth Mother. Actually, I'll do the Earth Mother song first. 